Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this in-class project we will use an ultrasonic proximity sensor with the Arduino. This tutorial discusses how to connect the sensor to the Arduino, how proximity sensors work, the use of modulated signals to improve signal to noise, and we will also look into the use of the pulse in function in the Arduino sketch that we will be using. This is the sensor we are using for this in class project. It is called HCSR04. The main features of the sensor are its effective angle of less than 15 degrees. So you see it covers a fairly small uh, um, angle in front of it. The ranging distance, the measurement distance is 2 centimeters to 4 meters. Um, the resolution of the sensor is 0 0.3 centimeters. The photo of the sensor here shows these two cans. Essentially inside here we have an, an ultrasonic receiver and an ultrasonic transducer. Um, the the, the cans here, they essentially serve to limit the effective angle. Um, here we have four contacts. This here is the operating voltage, uh, VCC, that's 5 volts. On the other end we have the ground connection and then we have two pins. One of them is the trigger pin. Uh, that allows to start a measurement and then the third pin here, that is the echo pin, that is the pin on which the measurement result is being transmitted to the Arduino. Here we discuss how a measurement is uh, being performed. There's a very simple communication uh, protocol between the Arduino and the sensor. We see that in the upper part of this uh, figure. Um, remember there are two pins on the, um, on the sensor. One is the trigger pin and the other one is the echo pin. So the measurement starts by the Arduino sending a 10 microsecond signal to the uh, trigger pin. So all the Arduino does is uh, it puts a pin from 0 to 5 volts, waits 10 microseconds and then puts the pin back to 0. So when the sensor receives this signal, then it starts a measurement. And so what the sensor does at that moment is it sends out eight pulses that are modulated with 40 kilohertz. So we see that here. And while it does that, for each of these pulses, it registers the time until the echo comes back. And then probably after averaging over these eight measurements, it calculates the average uh, echo time. And from this, um, it then determines the, uh, the distance of the object. It then produces a signal on the echo pin that is proportional to the measured distance. So this is shown here. So the uh, sensor now um, puts the echo pin from 0 to 5 volts, waits a certain time that is that, that corresponds to the distance and then it goes back to 0. And that concludes the measurement. So on the Arduino then, once we know the time for which this echo pin was high, we can use these formulas down here to calculate the distance in centimeters or an inch, right? So we just take the time in microseconds divided by 58 and we get the distance in centimeters or we divide by 148 and then we get the distance in inches. Before we look into the Arduino sketch, um, let's examine briefly why modulation is used in such sensors. The main purpose of modulation is to reduce interference and noise issues. Imagine a situation where the sensor sends out a signal and then while the signal comes back with the information, um, some random event in the environment superimposes another signal then the sensor would have a hard time to determine which part of the signal is the part of the signal it is looking for. By modulating the sensor signal onto a carrier signal, 
So we see that here. This is basically what the this is what the sensor sends out, and then we have a carrier signal, which in our case is 40 kilohertz. If we modulate this carrier signal with the ultrasound that's coming out of the uh, transducer, then we have a signal like this here. And, and you see that the envelope of the signal is essentially the ultrasound information that is being sent out. Um, and then we have the carrier signal superimposed to it. So the information is in the envelope of this resulting function. So this has now the great advantage that we can tune the receiver of the sensor to only look for signals that are 40 kilohertz. And then once it detects a 40 kilohertz signal, all it has to do is, is to extract the amplitude variation of that uh, 40 kilohertz signal. So this works very much like an AM radio where you have an AM uh, carrier frequency that then carries the uh, the audio signal as a um, amplitude modulation. Like in the radio, all you have to do is tune the um, the uh, um, receiver and then extract the uh, amplitude. And in the most simple case, this can be done with an envelope detector. This is essentially the uh, circuit you would find in the in the most uh, uh, simple AM radio. This envelope detector circuit is in principle just an, a, a peak detector. If we would not have this resistor here, then if you think about it, uh, if we put in this signal here we're at the um, uh, anode of the uh, diode, then um, every time it goes positive here, the signal, we would charge this capacitor a little bit more and then up here the capacitor would be uh, charged to its highest voltage. Now a peak detector would be done at this point, right, because the diode would not permit the current to flow back and here at the output we would have a very high impedance um, detection system like an uh, op amp or something of that nature. So we would have essentially measured the highest uh, uh, amplitude of the signal that we put in. But in this case, um, we want to get the envelope uh, as smoothly as possible. And so we put a resistor here that allows to discharge the capacitor again. And so if the resistor is chosen right, then the uh, signal at the output here will just follow the envelope of this, of this um, signal. So this allows us to extract the ultrasound envelope again from the carrier signal. So from this here we arrive back to the, um, to the original signal. Unfortunately there seems to be no uh, fritzing part for this type of ultrasonic proximity sensor. But it's very simple, it's very easy to uh, hook up. So all we have is these four pins here, five volts to VCC and ground to GND. And then we have the trigger and the echo pin. And so we can see here now how I hooked this up. So you see here ground and five volts. And then we have here uh, pin eight and nine for um, echo and trigger. This here is the simple Arduino sketch that we are using um, to test the proximity uh, sensor. We start out with some pre-compile statements. Here we have two defines and this is basically where we tell the sketch um, which Arduino pins we are using. So the echo pin of the sensor is connected to the Arduino, Arduino pin number 8 and the trigger pin is connected to Arduino pin number 9. In the uh, setup function we start out with, um, with opening a serial port. Uh, here we use a baud rate of 115,200. And then we define the pin mode of the echo pin as input, right? That's where the signal is coming back. And the trigger pin is defined as output. This is the pin we use to tell the sensor to start the measurement. Down here we have the main loop. 
there we print the distance is and then we do the measurement right and at the end here we have again serial print where we actually print the distance that we measured and then we put the units on there and then we wait 500 milliseconds and then we go back and do the measurement again so let's look now how the measurement works well we know that we first have to send a brief um, high signal through the trigger pin this is what we're doing here so we have a digital write for the trigger pin we set it high to 5 volts then we wait for 10 microseconds so this makes us this 10 microsecond pulse and then we set the pin low again and so this is now the moment when the sensor is starting the measurement and sends out those eight um, uh, ultrasound signals. So once the sensor received the trigger signal uh, it sends out those eight uh, ultrasonic bursts and measures the time until the echo of those bursts comes back. And then it um, calculates that uh, pulse and sends it out through the echo pin. And so all we have to do now is uh, on the Arduino is we need to sit and wait after we put in that trigger signal and we sit and wait and need and, and then measure on the echo pin uh, how long it goes high and that then can be converted here in the actual distance by dividing that time in microseconds by 58. Okay, let's uh, upload the sketch and see if this works. So the sensor runs and all I'm doing now is to um, move my hand closer and back and then we'll see what happens on the serial monitor. So I'm starting the serial monitor and so now I'm moving in the hand. Now it is time for the in-class project. Today we'll make a library for the proximity sensor. So the tasks are first to develop a class for the sensor. Um, I would call it HCSR04, uh, Prox Sensor. It's always a good idea to put the actual device name uh, in such a library uh, because once you do that for um, a number of things uh, that you hook up to the Arduino, it can get um, pretty confusing to um, distinguish between all the libraries that are in your folder. So this class should uh, contain the following methods. Um, first, of course, we will make a. You, you should make a constructor, um, and there you would define the two pins that you use for a trigger and echo. Um, then the uh, the methods should be read the sensor in inches, read the sensor in centimeters, and I would probably also add a uh, method with which you could get the previous value, the, the last value before the current measurement. Often you want to sense a change in a sensor reading and so it's good if the uh, sensor objects uh, remember can remember the uh, last value before the actual measurement. That would allow easily to compare by simply asking the object with the get last value uh, methods um, what was your previous reading. Okay, so once you have the class then it's of course time to make the library files and so you need to generate the header file and the C++ file. Um, if that confuses you then uh, you should definitely um, watch the uh, tutorial about making libraries. So once you have the library um, then um, you should modify the uh, provided code and, and um, include the library and, and um, experiment with the methods that you just uh, developed. This concludes the in-class project using an ultrasonic proximity sensor with the Arduino. Thanks for watching.